Here's how the Word of God describes the Word of God. The Word of God is eternal. It's holy. It's pure. It's perfect. It's truth. It's righteous. It's living. It's wonderful. It's powerful. It's omniscient. It's omnipotent. It is omnipresent. It's sweeter than honey. It's infallible. It strengthens us. It keeps us from sinning and keeps us pure. It brings us life if we obey it, and it's to be fully obeyed. We receive death if we disobey it. It preserves our life. It's our direction, and it counsels us. It brings us salvation. It created all things. It's an unbreakable promise. It brings freedom. It sanctifies us. It makes us wise. We're to put our hope and trust in it. We should long for it, love it, and sing about it. It's worth more than anything else, and it's to be praised. Now, look at that list, though. What does that list seem to be describing? Is there anything or any object or any book of instructions that has those character traits? No. What alone has those character traits? Jesus. That's right. Jesus. Why does the Word of God get that kind of description? Because this is the mind and the character, and it's the, it's the, it's the Word of God. It is His actual heart and thought. So to get to know the Word, to abide in the Word, is to abide in Christ. To actually have the Word abide in you is to have Jesus abide in you. Only God is allowed to have that kind of description. This is what makes the Word of God so powerful. It's not just a tool. It's not just instructions. It's so much more than that.